4.07, write equations from tables. I will let you guys do the explore on your own. <clears throat> we have a couple models here. Looks like just two. Okay. So model A, complete the table and write an equation. So some of these are actually kind of challenging. Um, the biggest thing I noticed right away is we start with a positive one, and we go to zero, and we go back up to one. So what that tells me is that I'm going to have a subtraction in here somewhere. So let's say here. So at step one, okay, so that's one. And we're going to be squaring this, okay? Um, so one, what can we do to one to get it back to one? Well, um, if I just leave it as one, one squared does equal one. However, when I put in two, if I put in two straight into here, two squared equals four, which is not good. So another option, I can subtract something. Let's say I'm doing one minus one. That brings me back to zero, which would just be zero. So that's not gonna help me. Let's do one minus two. One minus two gives me negative one. And I square that, that's positive one. Okay, that's good. Now let's say instead of putting one into the equation, we put in two. Oops, sorry, kind of erase that. Erase in red. So step two. So two minus two squared. That is zero squared, which equals zero. Okay. So far we're figuring it out. And let's do step three. Three minus two squared. That's equal to one squared, which is one. So one, zero, one. Let's do our last one. Four minus two squared. That is equal to two squared. And that equals four. So we found our pattern. One, two, three, four. That is our x. So we're going to do x minus two squared. Um, so here, this work is basically what's over here. I'm not going to write this in this box. Uh, for 10, so we're going to get 10 minus 2, which is equal to 8 squared, and 8 squared is equal to 64. Um, and the equation is the exact same thing we have up here. All right, let's see here. So, we are going from 1 to 4. Then from 2 to 16, 3 to 36, and 4 to 64. What I noticed right away, these are all perfect squares. So if I square root these things, square root of 4 is equal to 2, square root of 16 is equal to 4, square root of 36 is equal to 6, square root of 64 is equal to 8, okay? So 2, 4, 6, 8. If I divide all these by 2, what number do I get? Let's check out. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, so I just kind of worked backwards. So we're going to start with our step, which is these numbers here. So we're going to do x. And from there, what did we do? We ended up multiplying it by 2. Okay. And then from there, well, we actually divide it. We're going backwards now. So we multiply by 2. And then our last step is we square rooted it. So we're going to square this number. So really what we're going to get is 2x squared. So let's test it again. So I put in 1 in here. So I get 2 times 1 squared. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So 2 times step 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. Then 2 times step 3 squared. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36. So far our numbers are matching up. And finally 2 times 4 squared. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 squared is 64. So there we go, we got our pattern. So it is, in fact, this guy. Um, so 2x, all that squared. 
let's say I put in 10 into my equation, so I have 2 times 10 squared, 2 times 10 is 20 squared, and that is equal to 400. And this is the same thing as that right there.